Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and there you see it. USS Wasp has joined the fight. Uh, we did get command points in, so I brought in the USS Wasp, the USS Bagley, and the USS Blue as escorts. Uh, what I'm planning on doing with her is up in the air. I uh, actually thought about pulling the Enterprise out and re-upping her air wing uh, back at New Hebrides, but I also thought about keeping her in the fight, joining these two groups, um, and that would give us uh, a few more air assets to use. Um, I don't want to get all of the pilots on Enterprise killed, but uh, they definitely could be used in Operation Watchtower. That's a very nice looking ship, USS Wasp. I'm liking it and I'm glad she's here so let's get into uh, today's episode all right so on a moonlit night we have an encounter with the Enterprise battle group uh, everyone is maneuvering so I am not going to make the same mistake twice and just send these guys into a watery grave. Let's see which way are these torpedoes going. They're headed right for Enterprise. Great. Like I may have turned her the wrong way. Uh, let's have her go full steam ahead. Stack. Turn you around, Fletcher. We're going to slow you down. And have you come south? Hell, you're turning the way I want you to. Uh, this could be bad. Come on, buddy, go. Alright, there, we managed to get around her. It's like Enterprise may actually uh, have dodged the bullet here. Okay, Ellet. Come on up and slow down. Enterprise can just continue south. And we're going to have a uh, stack Come over here. Let's bring you to a stop, Fletcher. First action of the day, submarine attack. Here she is. Target you. Uh, I think we're going to have the Ellet take the lead on this one. Let's get our depth charges set up. Eight seconds. We're going to try and come in right in front of her. Stack, you can slow down. Uh, we'll have the Fletcher head south, but come to a almost complete stop. Actually, we can have her match speed with the sub. But we'll bring the Ellet in on the, the attack. Enterprise is moving away nicely. Start heading up with you. Let's 
slow yourself down. Okay, we're going to get her out in front of her. Foster. Get back around. Let's see if we can see the sub. These murky waters, there we go. Looking fairly good here. Slightly more speed to get out in front of her. All right. We're probably good now. Slow down, match her speed. And fire your depth charges. She should run directly into him, so that's what I'm hoping anyway. She is there, still moving along. Death charges are falling on either side. Okay, she's losing speed. She's at a stop now, so Ella... You can come to a stop. Until we pick her up again. Right, Fletcher's still moving in. You come down like this. Oops. Stack. Come down like this. You slow down a little bit as well. Once we pick her up again. He's dead, definitely dead in the water. Let's see what the damages are here. Minor and moderate. All right, Ellet, we're gonna have you get out of here. Oh, it sounded like she just blew her ballasts. Yep, she's blowing ballast. So Fletcher... Stack... Sorry about that. Once that sub hits the surface, if she actually manages to do so, we will uh, 
open fire with our deck guns. First time we actually shoot a sub with uh with our deck guns. I lost her. Should be able to see her come to the surface somewhere in this area here. You can probably slow down. Okay, there she is. 74 feet still. She's coming up, so... We're definitely going to be, uh... Hitting her with the deck guns. Okay, stack. There she is. 13 feet. Fletcher. Fire. Fire. And fire. So, I actually did manage to make it to the surface, which is a surprise. So, light them up. Relatively on damage, too, from the looks of it. Doesn't look like she's firing back. Oh, maybe she is. There we go. Oh, good job, guys. Enterprise hauls ass away. Safely. Successful engagement. Learned my lesson with the Saratoga. I did. Definitely learned my lesson with the Saratoga. Okay. And that would be the results of a uh, Dauntless Wildcat Joint Strike on this destroyer here. We'll see, uh... Still got some Dauntlesses coming in. We'll see if they can polish her off. These guys formed up. accidentally uh, selected one of these uh, Dauntless to do some strafing. She's dead in the water, so hopefully this guy in this bomb. We've only lost one Wildcat in this attack so far. That was a whiff. Oh, 
I guess. There we go. Everyone should be on the same page now. Get you in. Watch the action. While I eat this cliff bar. Some wildcats coming in. She's at critical and critical, so. Can't be many people left alive on this ship. There we go. Down she goes. We did lose one wildcat. Other inbound transport convoy, this time with uh, this bad boy. Yamato, Musashi, same guns. So, they are coming down to the Port Moresby area. They do have uh, transports, plus a light carrier. Uh, several heavies. So we're going to have to deal with that fairly soon. Let's see, they were up in this area. Anzacs are the only ones that we have. Uh, bar, that's probably not the best. Uh, Beauforts. We will get you up. Also going to launch some Mitchells. Up into the area as well. On some liberators. Get them up there. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to join these two groups up. Once uh, Wasp gets into position here, we can do that. Real quick, we'll get Wasp up into the uh, position with the Enterprise. Lost a scout. Lost another scout. Let's see if we can merge these guys here. Nope. Not yet. Alright. We'll get the wasp up a little closer there. Looks like they may be coming down this way, actually. Uh, hold you out over here. Okay, we merged the groups. Uh, we're going to rename them...
There you go, your air one. Uh, let's check our formation here. Three columns. Whoops. Try circular, see what that looks like. There we go. That looks good. So uh, one and two should be Enterprise and Hornet or Wasp. Sorry. There we go. So that's a uh, pretty formidable formidable force. Not sure exactly where that battleship group went. They are outside of range if they're over here still, so uh, we will look for them. We will hunt them down and we will kill them. All right, Wildcats from Wasp uh, just barely arrived before we started getting uh, engaged by these floats. Um, actually. i going to break these guys, form them up into uh, groups of two. We do have a zero in the area, like maybe a bunch of them. Oh, these are floats too. <coughs> Forget this guy. Okay. to you. I'm just going to leave you in groups of four. And I will get you out on this number 12 here. There we go. So it's going to be a decent dog fight, I guess. slightly. Not really too concerned with the uh, bombs from these float planes, but enough of them probably could cause uh, enough damage that they would be pretty detrimental to the health of a ship. There's quite a few of them in here, so might as well deal with them as we come across them. And if we happen to take out that escort carrier's entire air wing in the process, then that's what we do. So, it does kind of look like uh, this guy back here is going to get, it's going to get his, at least, unless he gets shot down. So we'll let that, uh, let this play out and see, hopefully this guy doesn't get his bomb off. funny because I just had the uh, thought, I got all these fresh wildcats, I might as well have them patrol above our cruiser group scenes. They are the closest uh, surface uh, combatants to the uh, battle group we saw. And they just barely got there before the planes started coming in, so... This is the result of that.
Hopefully wasp wildcats can uh, handle themselves. As we watch this float plane casually flying over our formation with a big bomb. Minus the big bomb. Let's see if we can not even sure this is the ship she's uh she dropped on. Yeah, alright. But we did shoot her down. Here she comes, spiraling in, hopefully not into one of our ships. There we go. Alright. On to the dog fighting. So far it doesn't look like anyone shot anyone down, so it's a bit disappointing. There's one. Redirect you onto this guy. There's another one down. Did uh so far I haven't lost any wildcats. Main actions over here. Oh, look at this guy. Kind of interesting pattern there. I think that might be uh, just about everybody. Take a look, see. 12 out of 12, there we go. No damage. Okay. Alright, so the Wildcats are going to hang out over uh, Cruiser Group 1. Enterprise Wildcats. Uh, let's see, Task Force 28. Only 9 of them, but... They can provide air cover for them. Seems it looks like they've drawn some attention to themselves. Uh oh. They do have cargo too, so. Alright, we're going to break these guys off. Holy shit. Well. Well. I don't think our nine wildcats are going to do much against this force. That's, uh... Not from an auxiliary carrier. That is absolutely not from an auxiliary carrier. Well... Let's get the maneuvers started here. like easily one group of three on every ship in our formation. All right, try and dodge it, guys, please. Please try and dodge it. Just spun the other direction. It does look like they're dropping on... Oh, they missed. Nice. So 
far they've missed on all their shots. Except for that one. Okay, this crater is about to take it. Heard a dud hit. Another dud hit. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I'd say that's from a carrier. Another miss. Uh, let's check our damages here. You can come to a stop. Might as well bring these guys to a stop before they collide with each other. Had some pretty close calls anyway. Uh, minor damage. None, 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 none. Number six was the one that got hit, but it's all repairable. So I'd say that was a lucky, lucky dodge on our part, at least. There's more aircraft coming in. This is definitely, definitely not land based. Uh, we might be in trouble here. Uh. you uh, back up to full speed there, bud. Get everyone kind of on the same page. This is going to be bad. I think we're, uh, we're about to lose a lot of transports. Bad day to be an American merchant marine. There's so many of them. So many of these guys. At least they're coming in individually, kind of. But that's going to make it a little harder to figure out who and where they are going and do some dodging. They just keep coming and coming. What is this, like 46 of them? Holy shit. Forty-seven. Heading right for the middle of the group, too.
All right, well, let's uh, see what we can do about dodging this. It's a massive air attack we got coming in on us. got everybody targeted. I can get out of this with uh, half our ships. That's going to be a surprise. Especially seeing we're not shooting them down. That was a miss. We got one of them. That was a miss. That was a dud and a hit. Earnholt's gonna take some uh, bombs. Start sending everybody out. All right, that could have been a lot. Could have been a lot worse. Hey, these guys are all coming in on the Fahrenholt. Arcturus. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Bad thing is we didn't get any of them down either, so they're going to be back. And if we did manage to dodge most of their attack... Shot a few of them down, but out of 47, three isn't really going to make much of a difference. What's that guy doing? He died, but he didn't drop. He did, but I don't know where the bomb went to. Get this guy uh, turned around and back with the rest, heading in the same direction as the rest of the group. That could have gone a lot worse. See, we got uh, number seven hit twice, number four hit once. All repairable damage, too, at least on number four. Number seven is all also repairable. 
So we should, uh, we should be good to go, unless they send, uh, more planes after us. Uh, we can repair this damage. Uh, and I have to send more, um, more wildcats, that's for sure. So I'm gonna get the damage repaired. Probably, uh, send every wildcat we have after them. Um, send up some scouts and look for the, uh, fleet carrier that nasty, nasty attack came from. Liberators have come across the convoy with the uh, Yamato class. Uh, so we're going to send them in. They're going to drop their bombs on the battleship. And then we are going to call this episode, I guess. Only got three of them, so... Let's get them up. Let's get them up pretty high here. Have them come right over formation like this. Or get you. This is probably the biggest threat I've seen so far. Both to our uh land-based operations and our operations to see if we can damage the Yamato. Um, I'd be willing to send in Cruiser Group 1, depending on the severity of the Yamato's damage. Uh, we do have to do something about these transports. That is going to be the focus of our future operations, is the transports itself. Uh, Hopefully we can get at least two out of three hits here. I'm gonna cease attack with them. Form them up. And then break and they can attack individually. So let's uh see how we do here. They did maneuver in probably the worst possible way. Hopefully we're up and out of the, uh... At least the small arms fire. are away. One of them got shot down. Let's take a look. And we got one hit. One hit, one dud. Minor damage. Uh, I don't think that's uh, really gonna work for me. But we did, uh, we did hit them. We do have two carriers in the area. Uh, we can soften them up before the cruiser group gets in there. I may actually pull the uh, battleship group out of uh, Iron Bottom Sound and beef them up a little bit and send them over, depending on which way these guys go. Uh, we'll have to deal with that in the future. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, general thoughts, leave those in the comment section below. And we will see you for the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of this exciting action. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.